Hi, and welcome to That's So Nova. I'm Nova, and if this is your first time here, welcome. If you're a subscriber, hi. I know it's been a long time, um, maybe two weeks since I did the last video. Just a lot of stuff has happened. I did, if you did see the shorts on YouTube, I was doing Katsukon. I was trying to produce a little bit more bags and different, different stuff to offer. Katsukon went really, really well. I had a really good time and if you want me to um do videos on how i do how i prep for um a convention or craft fair or a bazaar let me know down in the comments and i can create a video today we're going to go over mel um i i purchased a lot of different things from different places and I am purchasing a lot of different interfacings and stabilizers at this time because I would like to put together a video series, not just one, but a video series based off of different um, stabilizers. Like if the bottom of the base, a lot of people use, you know, um, Decoville Heavy or Pel Pelons, Peltex 71F. So I wanted to see what we can have or what we can use that can substitute it in case something runs out and you're looking for another brand and or you are looking for something a little bit more financially better and easier. There's a lot of different methods that I've learned and I love to share it with everyone because interfacing has never been an issue for me because I like to use unconventional interfacing. So I plan on having a series, either a three to four part series so that you could have something to reference if you're looking for like a woven interface, a non-woven, um, a stabilizer, foam, what what have you. So you have different resources. Uh, I still have some interfaces coming out, but I did get a few today and I'm going to show you the box opening. And I purchased a FOMO box. It was um, from Alchemax and it was a Harry Potter themed one. And if you know me at all, I'm a nerd. I love Harry Potter. I love the Star Wars. I just love all kinds of fandom. Um, so I wanted to share and see what the, open up the boxes. I haven't seen everything. I didn't look at the spoilers because sometimes I like to be surprised. And I also today have a box opening of some suede that I got and leather. There's a couple of patterns that are coming out one next month that will be a non so a no so leather pattern and it is absolutely amazing i can't wait to share it with you guys and so you can see it it's brilliant and the designers are brilliant but you already know i love designers because it's just think outside the box so let's start with the opening let's start with the harry potter one <laughs> You hear my puppy in the background he's in a he's in a mood today <laughs> i don't know how she got this in this box <laughs> just let me back all right so you have your receipt i already know i'm going to want to keep this box just because it has all the treats oh oh that is so cute That is so cute. Oh, it ha I don't want to even cut it. It has like a sill on it. That is mm, that's so cute. I don't want to cut it now, but I, I have to get it open. <laughs> so there's the confetti, which I like to recycle and reuse when I'm sending out bags. They make really good stuffers and it helps with the, the look. We have some FOMO, <laughs> Fear of Missing Out stickers. And it has um, the Harry Potter trolley treats. And you guys will be seeing this on one of my uh, machines. You know I like to tattoo my machines with stickers. So this is happening. <laughs> Let's see. Ooh, okay. A Honeydew keychain. Really extraordinary zipper tape. This is really beautiful. Some webbing. I ordered some webbing from 
um, zipper valley. So I'll be like showing you that too. This feels like the seatbelt webbing is very smooth. I love the printed design. Oh, a pop socket. <laughs> These things are so cool. I love them. Um, I have a little kickstand, but I will put this. I'm putting this on my phone. And let's see. Fear of missing out. Oh, talk about branding. These are little jelly beans from, um, they're little jelly beans, but it literally has their name of uh, Thumbs and Thimbles and Alchemax. Like, that is some serious branding. I love that. Let's see. This is an awesome box. It They sold, in one side it sold out, and I think on the other one, on Thumbs and Thimbles, they have maybe a few more. So we get another sticker with the trolley cheeks and the chocolate frog. And hardware. We all know. There, we all know I love hardware. There is more trolley treats. Probably. I can't see the chocolate frog zipper pull. <gasps> These are so cute. Look at this magnetic snap. Ma magnet. I'm sorry, magnetic snap. This is the um the chocolate frog thing, and this is amazing. Even the zipper end. Holy moly, they're gonna make me <laughs> design all kinds of bags. I like um thumbs and thimbles and aquamats because when they have their um magnet snaps, they they go into they have the spacing, so it just gives a, a magnet just a little bit more oomph on the outside, and I love it. And the last thing inside this cute little box is fabric. And it's fabric to match this box. Oh, there's two. Oh, that is so cool. Okay, yeah, I'm really excited. I'm going to make something. <laughs> um... That's pretty cool. I I really love like this box. I think I paid I think I paid 60 for this plus the shipping. I think it was 60. There was a more expensive box, but girls on a budget. <laughs> so I got um there's a lot of stuff in here. This is worth every penny and more. Put the sticker right here. Oh yeah, I really enjoyed I really enjoyed that box. That's amazing. All right. So it, I got a big box from um, a sewing supply store and I got some craft text. It could be easily, <laughs> easily confused with the actual, there's another one called craft text that is a fabric that you can use. It kind of, it's like cardboard, but like cork, it's like a cardboard and cork made a baby. It would be that. It's an interesting fabric, and I'll go over that too because I also use that as a stabilizer sometimes. Um, this is Craftex, and this is supposed to be, I think it's supposed to be comparable to um, Peltex 71F. I am really excited to try this. This is an American um, brand that is made in America, and um, they have like a whole different thing there. Basel has our foam. You've seen Basel around. They usually carry it at Joann's or whatever. So I'm trying to see what this is like. I'm going to use it this weekend and get back to you. And then I wanted to try, because I use a lot of fusible fleece, but I've seen, I had this idea because I've seen something. I was watching a quilting video and they, few, they had batting that was fusible. And I actually never seen it because normally if you, do a quilt you're doing like a quilt sandwich and you use a lot of pins and all that stuff so i was like that's pretty interesting because how does it wash and dry it is like really cool wash you would wash it and dry it as normal so i wanted to try that in instead of usable fleece so i got those two things from sewing supply store <laughs> and then the last thing i have my husband's gonna help me out because it's like a really long box <laughs> The last thing I have is um, I, the, the pattern that's coming out with that's a leather from Country Cow. I bought this really beautiful um, suede so that way I, I can make it. I was able to make it, but it did not come until today. That's how it usually works out for me. The sooner I make something, the sooner it goes. So here's this long. Okay, 
So the first thing I got is I bought some more silver pens. Um, they're like just like this. <laughs> they're just like the tanny leather pens, but it's I got this leather from. Um, oh my god, I'm drawing a black. Fashion. Nope, that's not it. Hold on. <laughs> um, I want to say fashion direct. No, direct. There's direct. I know. It's probably on the box. <laughs> Direct leather supply. Direct. Le I was halfway there. Direct leather supply. Um, I seen Georgia Stitch had this most beautiful blue I've ever seen, ever. Like in my whole entire. Did they give me candy? Oh my god, that is so cool. <laughs> um. No, you're not taking. I like apple. You have the grape. I don't. I don't. <laughs> All of this is now on tape. No, I don't play like great. So, um, I've seen there, Georgia, I did the Camille. So if you remember that pattern on my video, one of the videos, um, Georgia Girl Stitch creates the most beautiful leather backs, her and her husband. So she had posted on her Instagram, this beautiful, electric, like electric blue tote. And I was like, where did you get your, um, where did you get your um leather she's like it's not leather it's waxed it's waxed suede i was like what what is wax suede and that's that's actually fiberglass so that's so i was like where did you get where did you get that so she told me and i was like i gotta get this so i wanted to use it for testing that what i was currently doing but it just did not come don't do things like i do at <laughs> all Okay. So they wrap it really well. <laughs> okay, so then I okay, so I was stuck because they said they had lavender. <laughs> so I was like, let me get lavender and let me get this electric blue. So they're absolutely these two colors are amazing. They're just freaking, like, look at this. This is, like, gorgeous. Okay, so if you don't know, blue is my favorite color. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm slowly actually going towards purple. Because it's, oh, this is stunning. Oh, my God. I want it so bad. I'm, I don't know what bag I'm going to make with it. But when I do, we can, like, do it together. It's not that thick. But... This is going to be a gorgeous bag. And same with this. So I got that. And then I wanted to try something else for a base. Um, Samantha, who is Mrs. H, she has a, she uses um, sometimes foam board and uh, Dollar Tree cutting boards for her bases. And when I, when I discovered this, it made a huge difference in my bags. Because the bat, when your bag has a firm base, it just, I don't know. I think it looks better because you can have a, it could be a soft, squishy bag, but if it has a firm base, it looks just, I don't know. It just gives it some oomph. So as I'm doing some research, I find out about a couple other um, possibilities. This one, we're, this is plexiglass, plexiglass for a base. So I'm going to test this out. It's um, pliable plexiglass and I need it back to you. Um, I think like the Decoville Heavy and bases are going to be my first video in March. Um, I plan on having my skill tutorial is going to be rolled handle. There will be an Aura Rosa um, so along and I think a small tote. But I'm trying to get do at least one video a week for the interfacing. I got most of the... Um, most of it, but I'm waiting for like a couple more pieces. Also, I, what I got from um, there, which is like sealed, I got some thread snippers, thread zap, the head to it, and a glue brush. That's that, that's my puppy that made that sound. If you heard the most longest sigh in the world, that was him. <laughs> uh, so that's what I got there, and I just wanted to do a, a hello. I missed you. I hope you missed me. <laughs> kind of thing. Um, and just reach out to you and let you know what's going to go for March. 
because February is coming to an end. So this video should be going up either tonight or Saturday night. And if it's Saturday night, hi, future me. Um, <laughs> it, it's just a brief thing. It's everything here I purchased. And is there, there are just certain things that I like. Um, tell me what you want to see, like, if to be purchased that you're hesitant about. Like, I'm curious. If, like, there's a, bit, a notion you want to try out, a ruler, um, different fabric. Let me know. Put it down in the comments. Uh, so I, I explained what we're going to do for March. March, we're going to have a couple different videos. I'm pretty excited about it because I'm, I'm really into interfacing and stabilizers. <laughs> and then I'm definitely going to have unconventional stabilizers like plan B, like I'm out of this stabilizer, but there's a Joann's or a Michael or, you know, a fabric store near me. And I want to try these things. Um, that's it basically. So if you can like, comment, share if you think it's worthy, and subscribe, I would greatly appreciate it. We're almost close to 800. When we get to 1,000, I have a bigger giveaway than I did for my 500. I want to thank each one of you for subscribing. It makes me super happy. <laughs> so I will talk to you later, and I'll see you real soon. And I hope until the next time we meet, you have a really lovely time, and happy sewing. Bye.